Hey everyone, so I've got another CD review today and it's been quite a while since I did a CD review because as you may know if you've seen some of my other reviews, I only ever buy a CD or an entire album if I know I'm going to like it, otherwise I may just download one or two songs from iTunes. But I absolutely had to buy Mary Burns with Love. Now this is technically her new album, If You Live Outside of Ireland. Um, it came out on the 5th of March in the UK, but in um, Ireland it was out oof, November I think last year. Um, so it is kind of new but at the same time it's been on the go for about four months and it's already had its position in the charts and things. But nonetheless it was definitely worth the wait even though I was every time I saw it online I'm like darn Ireland have it I really want it. And I, I'm just absolutely over the moon with it. I do have her first album, um, Mine and Yours I think it's called. And I completely loved it. And I guess the reason I bought this was because it is Mary Byrne. I hadn't really looked at the songs on it. To be honest I wasn't bothered. But at the same time, I kind of thought, it's Mary Byrne, she's Irish, I love her, she's probably one of the most beautiful Irish people in the world, save for one other person. But even the songs themselves are absolutely fantastic. So I'll just take you through the, the interior design really quickly, then I'll let you listen to a couple of clips of some of the songs to give you an idea of what it's all about. And um, there are 12 songs on here. We have the cover there, very gorgeous, and the back there. I'll just take you through the booklet very, very briefly. The disc itself is black. I don't keep... Um, cases so I, I like to have a nice pretty disc even though it is black I find it's quite appealing um, so you have a little word from Mary herself there and who she's thanking and things like that then really really brief descriptions of the songs you know who composed it vocals obviously Mary and then a bit at the back there so the booklet I'm very impressed with I didn't really expect anything more than that to be honest it's neither here nor there. Um, I know some people only buy the CDs to get the booklets and things rather than downloading, but it's not really. Um, so the, the 12 songs we have here, I'll name all 12 and then I will um, let you have a listen to them. So while I'm naming them, I will find her playlist on my phone. The first one is Never, Never, Never. I hadn't heard that one. Number two is Valentine. Um, number three, The Air That I Breathe, which is such a beautiful, beautiful song. Um, I really do like that one quite a lot and her vocals in are great, I'll give you a listen to that one. And then we have I Don't Know uh, um, I Don't Know Him To Love Him, hadn't heard of that, very good. Number 5, You Don't Know Me, fantastic version of that. Uh, number 6, For The Good Times, great song. Um, 7, Who Is Sorry Now, good song again. Number 8, If You Go Away, hadn't heard of it, really good. Um, number 9, um, Scorn Not His um, Simplicity, hadn't heard of it. Um, number 10, You Needed Me, hadn't heard of it. Number 11, As Long As He Needs Me, love that song completely. And number 12, Thank God That This Was My Life. I hadn't heard of that one, but again, it's probably one of my favourite songs now, actually. When I play this, I play it, and then when I get to the last song, I will just put the last song on repeat. I've only had this for about, what, two days? And I've been listening to it constantly. It's just brilliant. Um, so I'll let you have a listen to come of the... Oh, dear, my phone's playing silly peoples. Um, let's have a look at the air that I breathe. Just a couple of... I'm sure you will agree that that is just absolutely beautiful. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous. And um, we'll have a look at Scorn Not His Simplicity. Let's fast forward it. Oh, a cheese bit with no vocals, great Amy. See him stay, not recognizing that kind of face. Quite mellow, quite beautiful, um, lovely. Then I'll play the last two so we have as long as he needs me. He needs me. If you are lonely, then you will know. I just want to play the last bit to it. That's just absolutely sensational. Um, and um, thank God that this was my life. This is my favourite one. And the lyrics to it are pretty much exactly spot on with my life right now. It's really good. Fast forward it. I need to stop choosing bits with no lyrics. We get the strength to carry on. Each new day. 
oh, it's gorgeous. I do love it so, so much. I paid about $8.99 from this on Amazon. It could be a little bit less now because I'd pre-ordered it. It might have went down if they've realised there's not been enough sales or anything. But do go and check it out, even if you just want to download it on iTunes rather than buying the album. Um, I definitely recommend you get it. I do recommend you buy both of them. If you haven't got our first album yet, go and get that one as well. I, I think... Mm. I prefer the first album mainly because I knew most of the songs on there already so straight away I could I knew the lyrics, I knew the songs. It was more of a case of comparing her version to other people's. Whereas this, most of the songs are quite new to me and quite interesting in that sense. So I guess the excitement there is the fact that it is quite new and refreshing whereas the first I already knew the songs. I don't have a favourite, I can't pick a favourite. I have both of them on there, I get to listen to them combined, it's great. But let me know your thoughts on this, if you've bought it, let me know what you think, and if you have both of them, you know, which do you prefer. Um, that's it for just now, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!